Hey guys, Tom at TPC Racing here. This video is on how to service the PFC V3 rotor. PFC Brakes is the OE supplier for Porsche Motorsport. On 991 GT3 Cup, GT4 Club Sport, and GT4 RS Club Sport. The same motorsport design is available for GT street cars. The PFC V3 rotor is a two-piece design that's commonly found in motorsports. So two-piece meaning that the hat is made from lightweight aluminum, while the friction ring that does all the work is made out of high-strength steel. So the two-piece are held together by a retaining spring. So this is a unique design from PFC Brakes, where it doesn't have 10 or 15 bolts. So it has a retaining spring that holds the two pieces together as well as serve as a floating mechanism. In order to replace this friction ring, we look in here, so this is the retaining spring. We're gonna find the tail of the spring, which is right here. Focus on, see that? So we're just gonna pry and pop it off the first slot. So once you pop it off the first slot, then we can work our way around the different slots. So now this spring is out. See, this is a spring. So if this is a worn out rotor, we would just lift it and discard it, and then put on a new one. Line it up, drop it in, that's it. Want to make sure that all the slots are lined up. And if uh, there's a lot of brake dust built up, we would use compressed air just to blow out the channels so that the spring will seat properly into the slots. So this is clean. We have our spring, which by the way, this spring is reusable. And occasionally, uh, if the car is washed and there's a lot of brake dust, the water will turn brake dust into rust. It could lock this spring. If the car is not driven to for the wheels to spin to repel the water out. So an instance would be if someone just washed their car and they immediately park it and don't drive it for three months. So it's very likely that this will develop rust. So in such a case, we would just wipe the rust off and just take some WD-40 and lightly go around it to lubricate it, get rid of the rust, and we're back in business. So to put this back on, we're gonna find the tail of the spring, which is right here. And we're gonna insert it into the first slot here. And then we're gonna make our way around the circle, basically reverse the process. Now, as you get to the second spiral, it's gonna become more difficult to put in the slot. So you just have to pay attention. And lastly, we'll take the same screwdriver against these openings here just to put some pressure on each slot, just to make sure that it's seated properly. We're gonna go around the full circle. And that's it, as simple as that. This is ready to go on a car.